Basic Marine Engineering at Support Level Working of Oily Water Separator Oily Water Separator As a seafarer on a merchant ship or as a ship manager. Owner of a vessel. One of the biggest nightmares is that of any kind of oil pollution accident from a ship. A ship produces oil and water mixture on a daily basis, which needs to be separated from each other. Before discharging the dirty water out of ship using equipment such as oily water separator. As oily water separator is the result of MAPL 7378. Annex 1 Regulations for the Prevention of Pollution by Oil. What is MAPL? Ship produces water and oil on daily basis because of many factors such as leakage of fresh water pipeline. Sea water pipeline. Leakage from gland packing, sealing. Accidental leakage within engine room, etc. Oily bilge water is the mixture of water. Oily fluids, lubricants and grease. Cleaning fluids and other wastes that accumulate in the lowest part of a vessel from a variety of sources. The mixture of oil and water is to be separated, and dirty oil is to be discharged out of the ship by using equipment such as oily water separator. As the name suggests, oily water separator is a piece of machinery that separates oil from water, as per maritime regulations. The oil content in the water processed from the oily water separator must be less than 15 parts per million of oil. Why we use oily water separator? Because free oil and oily emulsions thus charge in the waterway can interfere with the natural process such as photosynthesis and re-aeration and induced the destruction of algae and plankton so essential to fish life. In short discharge of oil can cause damage to birds life and mass pollution of beaches. As per Annex 1 of Marple water mixture into the sea shall be prohibited. The regulation further explains how an oily water mixture can be treated on board and can be discharged out at sea. Oil Water Discharge Regulation For a ship with 400 GRT and above, discharge of oil mixture can be done under the following conditions. The ship is en route. The oily mixture is processed through an oil water separator filter. Meeting the requirements of Regulation 14 of this Annex. After passing the oil water separator system, the oil content of the effluent without dilution does not exceed 15 parts per million. The oily mixture does not originate from cargo pump room bilges on oil tankers. In oil tanker ship, the oil water mixture is not mixed with oil cargo residues. On which principle oily water separator works? Oily water separator works on the principle of separations. Gravity differential between the oil and water. Construction and working of oily water separator. The construction of oily water separator is simple with three main parts. Separator, filter, and control unit. With no such moving parts. The whole arrangement is separated into two compartments. One for the separator and the other for filter. Separator unit. The complete unit is filled with clean water. And after that the oil, water is pumped to the first stage of the cost separating compartment. Here, oil with a lower density than water will rise to the surface. With the aid of heating coils in this process. It's known as a collection space. This unit consists of catch plates, which are inside a cost separating compartment, and an oil collecting chamber. After a period of time, more oil will separate and collect in the oil collecting chamber. The oil content of water which passes through this unit is around 100 parts per million of oil. A control valve, pneumatic or electronic. 
releases the separated oil into the designated oil water separator sludge tank. The heater may be incorporated in this unit for smooth flow and separation of oil and water. The first stage helps in removing some physical impurities to achieve fine filtration in the later stage. The filter unit. This is a separate unit whose input comes from the discharge of the first unit. This unit consists of three stages. Filter stage. Coalescer stage and collecting chamber. The impurities and particles are separated by the filter and are settled at the bottom for removal. In the second stage, coalescer induces coalescence process in which oil droplets are joined to increase the size by breaking down the surface tension between oil droplets in the mixture. These large oil molecules rise above the mixture in the collecting chamber and are removed when required. The output from this unit should be less than 15 ppm to fulfill legal discharge criteria. If the oil content in water is more than 15 ppm, then maintenance work such as filter cleaning or renewal of filters is to be done as required. A freshwater inlet connection is also provided to the filter unit to clean and flush the filter. This is usual. Oil Content Monitor and Control Unit This unit functions together in two parts. Monitoring and Controlling The PPM of oil is continuously monitored by Oil Content Monitor. If the PPM is high, it will give an alarm and feed data to the control unit. The control unit continuously monitors the output signal of Oil Content Monitor. And if alarm arises, it will not allow the oily water to go overboard. By means of operating three-way solenoid valve. There are normally three solenoid valves commanded by the control unit. These are located in the first unit oil collecting chamber. Second unit oil collecting chamber. And one in the discharge side of the oily water separator which is a three-way valve. The three-way valve inlet is from the oil water separator discharge, where one outlet is to overboard, and the second outlet is to oil water separator sludge tank. When oil content monitor gives an alarm, three-way valve discharges oily mixture in the sludge tank. When the operation of bilge water overboard is finished, Oil water separator overboard manual discharge valve is to be kept locked. And keys are to be kept with the chief engineer. Entry is to be made by the chief engineer in the oil record book. Along with the signature of the operating engineer. The chief engineer and the master.